got so one way forward. Come on. Oh yeah, I was still looking for that guy, the corpse. Yes, click click view on map. I was having a little bit of a um, little bit of interface stupidity here. Then I remember that I don't have the key to the morgue. So back to the main mission. This is about the time I realized that, like, all the side quests are probably gonna just converge along with the, uh... The main mission. Yeah, go forward. You can do it. I like the art on the loading screen. Um, it fits the aesthetic of the, um... I don't know if they called it the lobby, but the lobby. It's got that, that sort of, um, I don't know what the art style is it, it's called, um, I, I think it's called Art Deco. That's probably wrong, but like, like that Bioshock, um, 40s, 50s, like, grand... Um, like, you know, really extravagant, uh, grandiose, um, like, look how much money we can put into a, a movie theater kind of style. Before they before they decided that uh, oh it's only ten damage, I thought it was twenty. Then I said fifteen was a good amount, so it's it's a very good amount. Gonna need it. Transdar Cobalt 410 Engineering. Laurel, there comes a time in every man's life when he looks towards the future. Our future, never mind. Laurel, would you do me uh, do me the honor of accepting this proposition of affection? And stupid, stupid, yeah, that's stupid. That's pretty, um, pretty lame. Uh, and then he's just like, forget it. We're not gonna get married. The electrical fault is still an issue in subsection 19. When will the replacement electrical components be available so I can finally get this repair underway? You understand, I cannot leave the subsection offline at all times, correct? Meanwhile, having to navigate the around fan vents is not ideal. Um, parts are on the way. Love, Clive. Coming through. Transfer all the junk. All of it. I noticed that, um... It's kind of weird, because, um... As we go deeper into the game, um... Suit integrity is becoming less of a problem. Um, oh yeah, and I remembered that that since I'm not repairing it, I haven't repaired like a single thing. I repaired one thing, I think, in the entire game. Uh, I've got 27 spare parts, which are just sitting there being useless. 
why not just like get rid of half of those and put them into uh, materials or recycling? Yeah, look at all that. Three and a half things. Yeah. So now I really need a uh, a heal. Could use a healing robot right about now. Microgravity detected. Microgravity. I'm pretty sure, um... These tunnels run the entire length of the station. Mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities. Power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the Arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said it, um, before, but... I really love the um, the way that zero gravity sequences handle. Like the controls are just great. Um, and there's a new new enemy type. The the blob of shenanigans. some leftovers this place is just filled with loose parts it's it's great but um, I don't like the implications of it <laughs> we'll go down the maintenance tunnel and, and find some hovering corroded parts I guess it could be from from a uh, an extra supply crate, but that doesn't sound too plausible to me. Yeah, so it's a cystoid nest, and um, there you go. Uh, the outer layer of each cystoid nest appears to be made of an exceptionally thin layer of the same material that makes up most Typhon. Indeed, the nest appears to be just as fragile as the cystoids themselves, making it less of a protective structure and more like a living mine. It's possible that the weaver uses these to mark and even defend its territory from any kind of intruder. Initial scans reveal that they are consistently leaking lethal levels of radi radiation. Morgan's notes, steer clear unless you want radiation sickness or a swarm of cystoids after you. It's really hard to scan these things. I just barely managed it. Additional pylons. Uh, it's fortunate that the Weaver produces so many of these because it's keeping cystoids alive for long outside of those nests has proven to be exceptionally difficult. Despite the lack of any visible sensory organs, each cystoid seems capable of detecting us through unknown means, detect detonating on proximity. If we can figure out what it uses to see, we may be able to find a way to blind it long enough to get a closer look. Yeah, so they're just like... Like little moving grenades, almost. Sentient grenades. So as an experiment, I I tried this um, when I noticed you that you can just carry girders. I tried a uh, yeah, they're also radioactive. Um, I tried doing this as a experiment which to my hilarious 
surprise actually worked. I love it. <laughs> this is everything exploded. Throw a crate at it. So you'll notice that, um, well, it's hard to tell now. I thought I was right, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I was going to say, uh, even though, um, we're going, like, on the dimension that we are, um, There are, um, like, see, Psychotronics is upside down, um, written on the doorway back there. Um, and up ahead, it's written on a different, uh, a different angle. It might be the same one, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but later on, there's uh, a section where you have to go through, um, like, on a right angle. You go forward, and then you have to rotate and land, um, which is interesting. Uh, usually, in, in this kind of a situation, it's just like, even though you can move in three dimensions, um, it's still like from like a lot along a, a straight line yeah you can you can scan it you can scan it do it you got it you got it yeah yeah there you go so what is it it's a cystoid okay um and they're only really a threat because there's a ton of them. All you need is a scrap of metal to throw at them and then they're not a threat. Yeah. That's that's pretty rough. Um So your health, of course, um, will always regenerate to a minimum of, of 20. I don't like um, regenerating health in general, but um, regenerating up to a small um, number I think is good. So this was kind of interesting. You need a key code to get in, but you don't have the key code. So you have to hack it. Um, and it's at level two. So unless you put a ton of points into hacking, you can't get in. There's probably a key, co a key code uh, hidden somewhere that I just missed, but whatever. And I could see a little... Oh, no. Okay, you probably have to go through um, a, a little, little tube there on the other side and come out underneath that fan... Good work, guys. You destroyed yourselves without me even having to throw 
the thing at it. Man. Uh. That's, that's a level of low durability that is unparalleled. If, that's a, there's a ton of them. Um, if they could uh, collide with each other, this would be the easiest thing ever. You just have to wait it out. Here, have an emission dampening coil. It's on me. And there's another thing of lightning. I think I'm gonna die to it, I'm sure. I'm really bad at that. I don't know why I, I die to that so often, it's weird. Like, I always... Almost all the time I see it coming, except for the first time when I was... No, even the first time, I was like... Uh, I saw it, but I was wary about it, or I thought it would do, like, a tiny amount of damage, and I was like, I'll just take the 10 damage or whatever. But then it insta-killed me. Yeah. The worst part is, I was trying to just boost through the door. And instead, um, I, I hit the, the side of the door that's, that opens and closes, and then I'm like, oh no, I messed up, and I, um, just slammed on the brakes, which wasn't the best idea, because then I got hit by lightning and died. It's probably, like, the worst thing I could do in that situation. I'd say. Oh, you guys. Get out of here. No, really. Get out. Get out and die. They need a um, spring dampening coil or some whatever it's called. Whoa! What happened there? I forgot about that. <laughs> 